Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we are going to be building this nice little rustic log cabin, which I quite like. It's very simple, but I like it quite a lot. It's got a little fireplace, a chimney. If we come inside, everything's all nice and laid out. I've got the little area over here with one of those, I think it's called a credenza sectional sofa or something like that. A little kitchen area. I mean, all in all, it's very, very good. Now, I do want to mention there is a fire in here. I'm relatively sure that this is a fire safe fireplace that won't burn your house down. However, I am not responsible for you burning your house down. This world does have fire ticks set to false. So if I'm wrong, don't come crying to me. <laughs> Check the mechanics yourself because I'm not very good. I, I have a tendency to accidentally burn things down regularly. But anyway, I think that's enough talking from me. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So, the first thing we'll want to do is lay out our uh, kind of area that we're working with. So we're going to lay down log one. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and lay down another log on the sixth block. And then going this way, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the tenth block, lay down that one there, and then finally where these meet up, another one. So this is basically a seven by nine area, including the logs. Then we're going to bring those up one, two, three, four, high, one, two, three, four, for a total of five, right? So these will be five high logs, like so. And then we're going to take oak planks, and fill in these walls, just like so. There we go. And all the way over here. This is what I miss world edit. I, th this is why I want world edit, just so I can fill these in without, um, I mean, let's be honest, I'm placing down walls. This is extremely interesting. Um, no, it's fine. Okay, so we get the oak walls filled in. There we go. And once we have that done, now we can move on to the other stuff. So we're going to count in one block and then knock this out and put an upside down stair there. Then we're going to count in two blocks, one, two, and we're going to knock out a little uh, four. Why do we want to do four or did we do three? I think we did three. We're going to knock out a three by two and underneath it. Uh, actually, up here, we'll put upside down stairs like that. On this side, we'll go like so, with a stair and a stair. And then in here, we'll go two and two, like that. And on the outside, stair. So two in from the log, two in from the log. Those are way shorter than I want them to be. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better. Okay. So we've got that going for us, right? Now we need to do the roof. And the roof... Actually, you know what? Let's do the fireplace. Let's do the fireplace. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. So, uh, first things first. We're going to go two uh, stone stairs, like so, and like so, right? Then, this guy right here... We're going to put a stone brick there. Uh, we're actually going to do stone brick all around this whole thing because we want it to be fire safe. Like so, right? And then here we'll just put down a stone brick. And on top of that, we will put a stone brick slab. Just like so. Then we can go ahead and... Yeah, let's leave those. These ones will turn like this. And then we'll turn those ones as well. We'll knock out these middle blocks right here, because that is ultimately where the... Well, actually, those will still be stone. Yeah, this will be fine. Then let's grab some nether rack, and I'll put nether rack right down there. Hmm. No. No, this is... There we go. Let's do that. We'll put the nether rack here, 
stone bricks above like that. And then all of this will be stone brick as well. There we go. That looks better. Okay, and then we'll bring this up. And bring these up as well. And cap them with some uh, stairs, just like so. All right, pretty easy. Then we'll just bring this up to however high we want to go. We'll sort out the exact height in a little bit. And this should be fire safe. With the emphasis there being should. So as I said, if your house burns down because you use that design, don't cry to me. <laughs> because I make no guarantees that it is actually legitimately fire safe. This world does have fire ticks set to false. So uh, then we are going to go ahead and fill in this floor with spruce like so. We'll grab some oak planks, put that in the door. And then I think that's pretty much good. Now, we're going to take spruce logs and place them down like this. Okay? So, oop, one in and then leave a gap of two and then one in like that. All right. Then we'll take some spruce slabs and lay those down up in here and over here. And same thing up here, and that just gives us this nice effect where the logs are kind of there, but kind of not. Uh, like they're 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 there. You're very. It's very obvious that they're there as like supports, but they don't stick out annoyingly far. So uh, I like the I like the effect that this creates. Then we're gonna take bookshelves, and we're gonna bring those down like this, and we're gonna put a torch right there, right here, right here. Uh, right here maybe yeah right there and right there and that'll give us the light that we actually need now tools flint and steel let's go ahead and light the fireplace that looks good let's grab some glass panes and just fill in these windows right here like so and that looks pretty good as well and now we just need to do the roof. So let's clear out all of this stuff and grab some cobblestone stairs and spruce big, uh, spruce stairs as well. Go ahead and bring this across all the way, just like so. And then we'll bring this one across all the way like so as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and build these up to a point. So we're essentially going like this all right and you can see we'll go you know regular stair upside down stair regular stair upside down stair and so on and so forth until we get to here then we'll put an upside down stair and on top of it we'll put a cobblestone slab like that all right we'll take our cobblestone slabs and bring them all the way across until they run into the chimney uh i can already tell we're gonna have to move the chimney up a little bit but that's fine and then we're gonna do the same thing right here with these guys, okay? So, once again, just building up the roof at a nice, simple angle until it runs into the chimney, like so. There we go. Now, this area behind where you could actually see it, go ahead and just fill these in with oak planks, like so. And then we'll take our spruce stairs and do our roof here. Come on now, there we go. Like that. And same deal over here. There. And then same thing on this side. Now this side of the roof is going to be a little bit trickier because we've got some dormer windows that kind of stick out and just make the, the uh, roof a bit more interesting. I find, personally, the easiest way to do dormer windows is to make the roof itself first and then kind of carve them out, but you can do this however you'd like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab cobblestone blocks. We're gonna count in one and then knock out that guy. All right, then we're gonna go over, cobblestone, cobblestone stair, cobblestone stair. This will be a slab like so, and uh, it doesn't really matter what that block is because it's not actually even visible. But we'll just make it cobble, I guess. And we'll do something like that. 
these can just disappear or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So once again, cobblestone like that, knock that guy out, stare, stare, upside down stare, and slabs on top. There we go, just like that. Super easy. Grab some glass panes, throw one there and one here, and I would probably recommend taking like some spruce or something and just putting it underneath. It's just a little detail. It really doesn't matter because people can't even see it, but it's just one of those things. All right, now let's grab a spruce door and we'll put that right here. We'll grab oak or uh, dark oak like this. I'm going to need a chest, furnace, that thing, um, a bed. I will need some oak slabs as well. And I think that's everything for this area. So we're going to go like this over to here. And then I think right here we'll put down our little uh, credenza sectional sofa couchy thing. Something like that. We'll actually turn that one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now crafting... Furnace, furnace, oak slab. Um, I think... Hmm, do, 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 do. Let's put the bed right there. We'll put a chest here and here. Maybe I'll put just a regular... Um, oak, uh, dark oak plank right there, and we'll put like a little flower pot on top of it just you know to make it look a little bit more interesting and there's the interior all finished up and now we need to finish up the chimney so let's grab a few things for that there we go what did it do two yeah i did two okay so we'll bring this up an extra two levels put down cobblestone walls and then we're gonna grab cobwebs and we're just gonna kind of head off, pick a direction and go with it. I'm going to go this way, because I think this probably looks the best, but it's totally up to you, right? So we get this big smoke trail, and then because we don't want the smoke trail to look too ridiculously, like, forced, we're going to just go in and break a number of those, and I think that looks a lot better. So we got that going. Now, we can do some outside details as well. So let's go one, two, three and then grab some cobblestone stairs upside down, and we'll just make a little cobblestone bench, just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now, the rest of this is basically stuff that is completely optional and just makes the house look a little bit better. So let's grab maybe some oak leaves, and maybe we'll put some oak leaves kind of over here. You know, just some foliage. Uh, maybe a little bit along here as well. The goal is just to kind of add some interest to the outside of the house. Make it look a little bit more like it's in nature, which I think is good. Uh, let's grab a shovel and just make a little path that goes up to the house like this. Oh. Like that, maybe. That looks good to me. We'll grab a oak tree, or an oak sapling, and some bone meal. And I think an oak tree would look really nice right here. Like that. That looks pretty good to me. And then we'll maybe bone meal this area. We're going to knock out a few of these, just because we don't want too much tall grass. We want a little bit. We want it to be there, but we don't want it to be like... As I said, it's all about keeping it from being too noticeable. It's little little bits of moderation. There we go. And I think that's good. I'm going to call this build done at 13 minutes and 10 seconds. So there you have it, guys. A nice little rustic cabin house type thing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.